Liquid going to be going much more aggro with the Nidalee LeBlanc. Yeah, Team Liquid will be wanting to win this one pretty quickly, and they're going to want to get Lorlo ahead so he can become a mid lane, but Phoenix with the recall is completely safe. They're actually hoofing it yeah. all the way down. This is really interesting because the teams technically don't know where each other are. They could be either taking the Rift Herald or the Infernal Drake, but they actually meet in mid. Yeah, Spear Catch is special. He's chunked down to half. The arrow oh. catches Apollo from long range. Phoenix dashes forward with the chain. First blood, Team Liquid. These Ash Arrows are so on point. And the team able to follow up on it. Whew, they burn multiple summoners. Apollo ends up burning Helix. Specials out of summoners and Team Fabi. Yeah. Very good lead, secures that first kill for Liquid. Minor gold lead so far. Phoenix gonna try to clear this out. A lot of members of Team Liquid gets a good juke, but heads right onto Shrimp, who's gonna flash, knock up. Gold card locks him down. Keen gets a kill in return. Nice job by Shrimp. They don't even have to use the Twisted Fate ultimate and they get that kill. Phoenix has gotten really aggressive in a harassing wave clear pattern right there. Orlo continuing split in the bottom lane. Ooh, Snare actually get him finds again. Phoenix, but he's able to distort out of there again apex group four members in the mid lane try to bully phoenix away they're gonna get some good damage on this turret as you mentioned there's not a lot yeah. of wave clear they're ahead in tempo for sure ash arrow coming through is this one gonna land two? Oh, it is it finds shrimp but that is the tankiest member on the team he's chunked down to half a snare finds dardock they're going to drop the never move bullets find phoenix is he gonna be able to get out of this they might just try to turn it Woo! onto matt instead level four and he gets out of this apex Make the decisive call and take down the mid-tier one. Exactly, and that goes beyond just the call to go mid lane. It's because they had such pressure building up. It's rather interesting. The side waves have been pretty well prepped by Apex throughout this game. But if Team Liquid ever try and get control of that, they're going to have to worry about the TF. Another oh, one. Another one stacking the bubble. They burst down Keen. Can they kill him in time? He's so low with the ignite burning. Fabby, flash auto kill secured. This is actually insane how many Ash Arrows in a row Fabi has been able to land. Lorlo is chasing Ray down right now. The Subjugate is still giving him some stats. He has the Chomp ready, but Ray is out of mana. Oh, he's going to try to chase him down. Flash, it's answered. Oh. Dodges the Tiamat proc. There's the Pillar Shrimp. Oh, can't make it in time. Solo kill for Lorlo, but he's going to end up trading his life back over. No, oh, Dardoch. No. Dardoch is yeah. there. Dardoch was there collapsing down following Shrimp, so it's pretty much just the solo kill, and Team Liquid got to continue pressuring mid lane. But now Twisted Fate ultimate. Keen is back. Oh, he's immediately Ooh, caught nice by the bubble. bubble. Snare. Oh, doesn't even land on the Fabi. Keen's trying to catch up. The card falls off. Fabi still takes some big damage. Shrimp even misses the knockup, but Apollo secures it. Fourth bullet shot there from Apollo. Nearly great escape level. He's almost even in minion. He's got those kills. Lorlo is going to be looking forward to this one on one if he can ever find Ray around the map. Who's currently heading towards the top side might be looking for Fabi. Oh, He's no. found him. There's no flash. Can he get the kill? Teleport coming in. Oh, the crow is not quite enough. They're going to try to turn and collapse. There goes the Twisted Fate, Destiny, and Eight. Curtain calls Zone's Team Liquid away, and Ray Zone's Team Liquid off. Yeah, Fabi, while he's had tremendous Ash Arrows, has found himself caught out of position occasionally. Luckily, it doesn't cost him his life there, but it does cost Team Liquid a whole bunch of map pressure. They had to use their teleport as well as pretty much all of their ultimates to get up here. Oh, Phoenix, though, misses the damage onto a special, but the pillar locks him down. He drops right quick to Dardock, who continues chasing. Beatrice provides a lot of slow. Well, he's got to be careful. He has no ult. Yeah, trying to keep him locked over the side. He gets locked down. He's dropped solo. Subjugate comes back up, and he's able to heal enough in time. On the far side, Phoenix is able to drop Ray, and Team Liquid continue to chase as Apex are forced to flash to, to escape. You don't know where I am. Am I here? Am I there? And then he shows himself. So Apex, they're now grouped up. Phoenix and Dardock are going to spot this out. He's going to try to... Whoa! Uh-huh. X special. No magic resist. Can't be checking brushes like that. Oh, but they have caught Phoenix. He's going to be locked down and destroyed. The arrow still finds Keen, though. They just don't have enough follow-up. Matt eats the slow. He's got his flash as Shrimp tries to catch up. That's a late teleport from Lorlo as Dardock tries to keep the rest of Apex split. Shrimp is going over the wall. He might have gone too far as he drops Dardock, eats a snare, and goes down to Keen. Turns into a two for two. Phoenix isn't able to retreat in time after bursting down a teleport of his own. And Team Liquid need to continue to be decisive. It's what's improved them as a team, and it's Dardock's call right now to go for the Drake. But Apex is going to be trying to stop this. It's getting low. There goes the teleport. Mountain Drake secure. Trimp is in the front along with Ray, as the tanks should be. The arrow misses the oh. first one. 
The streak is broken. Yeah, quite unfortunate. Lorlo with no mana has to back away. Ray is going to continue to provide chase. Keen drops the destiny. Matt is split off. This is almost certainly going to be a free kill for him as he locks it down with the gold card. Snare actually misses. Matt might get out of this. Finally. <laughs> Kills must be earned. He pulls out another card right there. <laughs> yeah. Continue to use it. They're going to try to catch Dardock. Oh, no, they're turning on to Matt instead. They'll take the Consolation Prize. Another arrow oh. hit. Matt eats a huge crit. Dardock with the Zonias buys enough time. The rest of Team Liquid collapse as they're forcing Apex to back away. Dardock is going to chase. Spear finds Ray. Does he follow it up? Phoenix lands the, the chain. chain. He gets knocked up, but they're able to drop Ray. Dardock is going to have to hop the wall. Does not succeed. Apollo gets the revenge kill. Lorlo is going to continue to chase, though. He's got the assistance of the rest of his team. There's another knock up and stare. He's taking a lot of damage from the turret, but they're dealing it back to Shrip, who's going to get out just oh, now. He up. finally goes down to the volley, and Team Liquid take four kills for one. And Apollo's the only one alive at the end of that one, the way they turned around Keen's Twisted Fate initiation. But they're going for Ray, they get the slow. Oh, he actually stands and takes the tidal wave. Dardock chases forward. They're gonna try to collapse on him. He's down to half. Ignite gets Grievous Wounds, the arrow lands, and they secure the kill on to Ray. And a really nice zone is by Dardock right there because Keen was moving in to burst him down this game. Team Liquid. But it still takes a lot to kill. Yeah, it certainly does. Team Liquid now pinging onto the Baron. Ray is dead yeah. for 20 seconds. He's going to have teleport, though. There goes the curtain call. Two bullets find Dardock. If he can burst him down, that would be huge as Apex are going to try to contest this. Yeah, they kill this really fast. Phoenix is going to try and burst X special. Doesn't get him. Maybe they go back to Baron. Yeah, they turn it into a fight instead, zoning the rest of Apex away. Baron still hasn't healed. They're going to burst it down, secure despite Shrimp's flash. And they're going to turn now onto Shrimp. This is the fight they were looking for. And that's going to be Shrimp going down. Snare locks down Lorlo as the rest of Apex back away. Ray teleporting in awfully late. Keen tries to force it into a fight. Gets the wild cards, but does he have enough? No, as Phoenix flanks and picks up two. Fabi flashes the wall away from Ray. And they will be able to catch Fabi. Another arrow lands, but Fabi not long for this world. Baron was secured, and oh, is Keen gonna chase? Nah, it just means that it's five versus four. Baron still on Dardock, and I believe only, no, Dardock and Phoenix for the next 90 yeah. seconds. And Phoenix has arrived. That's a 25 stack Soul Stealer with a death cap completed, so he has all the AP multiplication going on right now. Baron buff up, yeah. means more threat. Lorlo's just getting them that bottom turret, so they either go for the win, or they go for double inhibitor, or both. Yeah, they've got five members now. They're actually going to look for the win as the Nexus turret gets shredded before Apex can respond. Lorlo tanking in the front, Phoenix hops in, but the Nexus is already dead, and Team Liquid 2-0 Apex. Yeah, Team Liquid ran away with that game yeah. down the stretch, and a lot of it was just their focus around the objectives and their communication because they were pushing Apex into making these decisive moves, which they weren't necessarily able to make. And Team Liquid come away with a solid 2-0. Yeah, very confident win off of that. I mean, Fabi landing arrow after arrow after arrow, and the bulldozer of Team Liquid following up time and time again to convert those one-off, two-off kills into objectives just opened up so much for Team Liquid. Yeah, for a team that started the split one and three, sitting at four and three now has got to feel pretty good. And also, Phoenix has been consistently performing now. He won three player of the game awards and four of their wins last week. Uh, and he continues to excel. He has that, that one weakness where it's like, you know, early in the game, man, you're too greedy with your trinkets. Yeah. And sometimes that bites him. But like outside of that, the guy is playing out of his mind right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, Keen had a decent performance, but like when he started getting ahead on the Blanc, combined with the decisiveness of the Team Liquid team and Fabian Ash to create the initiations which allow Phoenix to excel, uh, seems to be a recipe that's working very well for Team Liquid. Mm -hmm. Taking out Apex rather convincingly in this 2-0.